Hey guys, uh, it's the video that people have been asking for for a long time. Finally, a room tour update. Um, been putting this off for a long time. Um, there's just a few other things I've wanted to get done in here before I do it, such as better lighting. So hopefully everything else sort of stands and sh shows a little bit more. Um, also works that today's a nice sunny day, so we're getting some good natural light in through the window as well. So this should be fun. Um, obviously, here's the door. This is a cross stitch pattern my uh, wife did for me. Which is pretty nice. I really like that. She did a really good job. It was uh, wasn't one of the easier ones she's done, but she uh, she persisted and got it done. All right, let's go and have a look. So I'll just go around the room quickly, and then we'll uh, close the door and we'll uh, we'll start on the back of the door. I think nice and easy. So I'm not going to point out everything, um, we'll just sort of scan through and I'll do some points about a few items, obviously is the uh, vintage style 40th anniversary 6 inch black series on the cards, very lucky to have that Luke Skywalker X-Wing pilot that I got at Celebration, that's going for silly money these days but I'm uh, very happy I was able to get one. So now I've just got a lot of random things for spotted around the room. Um, such as the Mark Hamill from The Simpsons. There's a few other bits and pieces and badges. Little framed mini posters and some figures. On the top. Just lots of random bits and pieces from throughout my collection. And I've sort of spotted through the place. Um, now basically onto my black series, six inch black series figures and uh, collection that's up to date for the most point. I've got uh, the latest Kira figure from Corellia on order. So that's the last one I need until it's until we're up to date for, for the moment, until the next wave comes out. So I've sort of used this shelf for the sort of deluxe sets, like the vehicles and figure vehicle sets. There's the dew back, and I surrounded it with my other sand troopers. That's looked good. Rain Kylo from Force Awakens. I uh, customized that Kylo Ren so that it was the uh, unmasked, but he still had that sort of snow weathering on the bottom of his of his tunic. We got the uh, torn torn and wampa sets. And down below that, I've just got my Lego books DVDs. Blow that the fact files, which I still need to get the uh, rest of the folders for. Moving across my uh, Star Wars Insider magazine collection, and uh, all the other magazines that sort of feature Star Wars in the uh, on the covers or articles and stuff like that, I've sort of collected them as well. So we're moving up. Got sort of Return of the Jedi sort of theme shelf, Jabba the Heart. There's the Gamorrean Guard, one of the best figures they've done. Forlom, which I got the other day, or four L O M. And the sort of Rebels, which I hope we get the rest of them one day. Hoping to get a uh, episode one Obi Wan to go with that. Those two there, Django. We got some clones. Sort of Revenge of the Sith, sort of mixed with Clone Wars a bit. Then we got to Rogue One. Vader, all the new troops that were introduced in Rogue One. And then we got the Rogue One crew. Hopefully, uh, Hasbro have got a Bodhi Rook to bring out one day. And we've got the figures from the Solo movie, which are some of, some of the best, in my opinion. Um, yeah, looking forward to getting Kira to add to that set. Now we got to the sort of sequel trilogy stuff. We sort of moved from Force Awakens into The Last Jedi. I sort of customized this one, I love this Ray a little bit. So I gave her a better, better soft goods and uh, sw swapped out a hand from a Harley Quinn figure, I think it was. 
So now we've got my first order. And Kylo and Ray back to back here. I really need to get another one of these these toenail head Praetorians, just so I've got six of them. That looks a bit more even. Lots of tie pilots, flame troopers, snow troopers there. Now up to original trilogy. Looking forward to adding some more to this this shelf. Um, Rumours we're getting a Bespin Han, which is exciting. One of my favourite iterations of uh, Han Solo. Now we've got the Empire. So the Inferno squad trooper there, Thrawn. At the back, you can kind of, I think you should be able to... They're not all easy to see up there. I need to reassess how this is sort of laid out so you can sort of see the figures in the back too. Well, that's pretty much the Black Series. I've got a few others sort of spotted around the collection from the Expanded Universe, like the uh, Dana Solo and the uh, Concept Boba Fett. And now we'll move on to a Lego. Um, not all my sets are on display. I've put a lot away. Um, a lot of the smaller, smaller sets, I'd sort of try and rotate the displays a little bit. So I've sort of packed a few sets away to make room for some of the more current stuff. First order destroyer. An X Wing there flying through the air. <laughs> Imperial destroyer. Some smaller sets here. Really like these two little sets here with the uh, you know Master Train and the Apprentice. Sort of set up with their little hubbles, huts. A bunch of minifigs that are from all the other sets that I have that I've sort of just taken off and displayed as that. Millennium Falcon, that's the Force Awakens version. Some Last Jedi sets. Got all the resistance here. Poe, Ray, Finn, Rose, Holdo, another Poe, BB-8, Pilots. A couple of X-Wings. And we got down here, I've got my little Battle of Takedana set up. Which I'd love to expand on one day. But there's my little Jakku. Finn walking through the desert. We've got Ray with her speeder. Little Santeca. Ray and Finn running away from the troopers. Uncar Plot and the thugs. There's first order sets here in a resistance ship. I sort of customize, customize the uh, Kylo Ren ship there. Resistance bomber. That's that's a, such an amazing set. I really like that ship. Kylo ship there as well. I love that. And down here, we've sort of got the uh, Return of the Jedi sort of display. Endor. Uh, Scarif Battle. The Death Star. Love that thing so much. And then down here is just sort of random couple of sets. These are probably next out of rotation. Just a few sets down there. Got the Ghosts and the Rebels. The new Kessel Run Falcon. And then other solo sets. And one of the dogs has obviously been in here because their tails wagged and knocked over a couple of minifigs. But that's Lego. Um... I'm just going to keep moving around the room. Got the uh, Leia poster framed from Celebration. 
This is uh, coming out of the 40th anniversary panel. Sort of when I met Hayden Christensen, Mark Hamill, Peter Mayhew. Outside. Autograph picture granted Greg Grunberg. Brian Herring that did the puppetry work on BB-8. Mark Hamill, obviously. Peter Mayhew. The signed uh, celebration badge. And all the uh, badges that I sort of got given to me throughout the event. And on the side, there's some more random stuff hanging on the side of this bookshelf. Um, the droids that me and my wife made at Disneyland. I uh, attended before as well, I attended the Rebel Force Radio um, kickoff bash and I got to meet Jason and Jimmy Mack. That was, that was a thrill. Great to finally meet them guys after so many years of listening to them. Just a little, little table here, I've got some things. So I gave it to my book and media shelf. Solo popcorn tins. Sort of changed, I'll sort of take them off display in a couple of months. Um, sort of rotate them out as new movies come out. My uh, Boba Fett shelf. I mean, I've always described myself as a bit of a closet Boba Fett fan because I rave on about how overrated he is, but I have a shelf dedicated to him so I do like Boba Fett I'm just I think he looks fantastic I think he looks awesome I've got some gifts here that's a um, custom return of the Jedi 6 inch Boba Fett from Fallen Jedi we got to meet at Celebration spent the day with him that was that was the best um, he also picked that up for me a while back when that was released so yeah onto my media and I've got some figures spotted around so we've got the uh, widescreen and widescreen and regular versions of the uh, original trilogy on VHS. More versions of the VHS. I recently got the uh, Revenge of the Sith on VHS as well, which is uh, not an easy one to come across. Um, and yeah, widescreen Phantom Menace there as well. So that's what DVDs on Blu-rays. One in the corner there. There's our wit from dbsw.net, R2 Witco on Instagram. Um, we got to meet him and hang out with him as well when we were in the States last year. Hopefully catch up with him again next time. Yeah, I've got a few copies of The Last Jedi there. <laughs> You go down to books, lots of expanded universe, legends. I uh, haven't got any books with the legends banner on them, I don't think. So, trying to rebuild my Power of the Force 2 collection that I lost when I was a kid. Well, it didn't get lost, it got stolen. Um, there's a couple here from when I was a kid. I've got a couple mixed in with my other figures as well, but trying to pick up a few here and there just to sort of rebuild that collection I had when I was a kid which is Vader and Vader and Chewie were the first two figures I ever got so now we're on to the more the new sort of canon of novels missed a few over the years but I might get them eventually I'm always running out of room for books. I'm always buying new books. Um, lots of second-hand ones. There's more Legends stuff down here. I do have one with the Legends banner. Crucible. So yeah, there's some Jonas Solo and the Shadow Guard. And Revan down here. my uh, comic collection that's all mostly number ones issue ones so I sort of collect issue ones um, I've got the Rogue One lineup I've got the Force Awakens lineup 
Um, I got a couple other random one-offs. Here's my uh, trade paperback collection, which is getting getting quite big. I've got a four here that I've haven't haven't got caught up with yet, and I think there's still one or two that I need to get. It's sort of the reference books down here. The solo's just slotted in there. And uh, here's my folders. It's sort of, as you can see, there's Star Wars cards and then there's keepsakes and there's catalogs, merchandise catalogs, which I did a video of recently. Some more books, sort of art of, making ofs. Old, an old game from the 70s um, that my wife's auntie passed on to me. CD soundtracks. I've got my vinyl records out in the living room at the moment. Uh, got a few Atari games there, which were also given to me by my wife's auntie. Um, a few other PS3 games. Super 8s. Yeah, that's sort of that section. Now we're on to the uh, pretty much all the three and three quarter inch figures, and we'll go across the top. We've got some carded stuff up in the gap here. Just a few of my favourite ones that I've sort of kept since the uh, vintage collection sort of left off a few years back, and it's just picking back up now. But on the top, just another random assortment of bits and pieces that. I like to display up there. Pens dispensers, vintage X-Wing box, modern vintage X-Wing box in front of the modern vintage X-Wing. TIE Fighter bits and pieces. This was a uh, custom look that I did sort of on the announcement that we were going to be getting 7, 8 and 9 and uh, it came out reasonably close to what we got in The Last Jedi Alright, so we'll go down this shelf before we get onto the 3 and 3 quarter inch stuff So I've got some sideshow collectibles which are cherished gifts from a good friend You know who you are uh, Yeah, definitely hung on to these and looked after them well Take pride in my collection these two are recent, recent purchases, my first and only Hot Toys, um, both Rays. I'm going to be looking forward to getting the last Jedi Ray when she comes out. But uh, yeah, these are exceptional, They're really high quality, good stuff. Quarry concept figures, and the Phasma at the back that I won in Darth Phoenix 619's contest um, a couple of years back now. Couple of SH Fig Arts. Haven't really delved too deeply into that line. Just the two here. I will get Qui Gon when he uh, he comes out. I know he's available, but he's quite expensive. The Mafex Kylo Ren, which I've custom put a put some Black Series soft goods on it. it. Just fits a little bit nicer. More random stuff. Bobbleheads. Itty bitties. Just uh, the other bits down the bottom. A we'll signed picture from Steve Sandsweet when we went to Rancho Obi-Wan last year as well, part of our big trip in the USA. And there's me and my wife with with Steve. He's an absolute pleasure, absolute gentleman. Um, yeah, definitely want to go back there and go through the museum again because it's it's until you've been through it, you got no idea what it's like. It's incredible, um, just absolutely mind blowing. When I met Steve Bloom, with the voice of Zeb. Oh, just random bits and pieces up the side here as well. Alright, let's go and we'll start with episode one. I'm just going to scan across. Added a few figures here, a couple of figures here over the last uh, last day. Um, I went to the Adelaide Toy Fair, got pa Captain Panaka. 
and Captain Tarples, who is at the back there in front of that carded figure. And sort of drifting into episode two here. I'm just trying to hold my camera up so you can see it, but I'm getting that shadow. So I apologize for that. Jedi and we go around to Revenge of the Sith I really I actually really want to get the other half of that table um, I was hoping to find that yesterday but uh, no, to no avail no one had it so the hunt continues Revenge of the Sith this is probably a bit of the collection that could probably be expanded upon but it's been a while since we've seen some figures from Turn to the Jedi. And here's Solo so far. A few figures to get yet. Um, this is still very, very early on in the collection for Solo. Go to Rogue One. Still missing Gale and Erso. He's a tough one to find for a reasonable price. So I may have to just bite the bullet on that one at some stage. Pretty sure that's all I'm missing. Alright, one sort of blend into a new hope here. Pilots. Tatooine sort of stuff now. Tuscan Raiders, Sand Troopers, Dewbank, Cantina. There's a couple of guys in the back there that don't belong, but they showed up anyway. An extra that decided to pop in. Now we'll go around to Empire. And here we go, Empire. That new Wampa is so good. To Return of the Jedi. It's Ewoks. Rebels going into Jabba's Palace. Some of these figures look great on a sail barge. They uh, could have got one out to Australia somehow. Jabba's Palace. The Rancor. Again, another gift from a really good friend. And coming back around, we're getting started on the uh, Force Awakens and into The Last Jedi. That Wrath Tar was a great addition. I <laughs> really like that. Um, the figure of Balatik, not so much. Um, I do wish I got a couple more of the Guavians just to back him up there. I think I should have. I should have done that. Um, I'm sure there's still some around in store somewhere, but um, so I might grab them if I do. We start to move into starting to move into the Last Jedi now. This trooper here, this one, I'm not sure the camera's picking up, he's yellowed terribly, it's really bad. He's only under sort of LED light most of the time, so, The Last Jedi, Chewie's dropped his crossbow. Snoke at the back, some Praetorians. So I hope we get some more characters from um, the last Jedi. That sort of was a line that sort of went went and gone quick. We've got rebels around here. And this is uh, complete. So got the Disney Disney store chopper. I got another one up on the wall too. I had to grab two of them. It's just a little bit better than what Hasbro gave us. Get 
down to more of my vintage stuff. My carded Anakin in the back there. Sort of starting to tick a lot of the boxes with the vintage figures. I'm not trying to get a good collection of complete perfect mint figures. I just want a collection of not broken but worn. Happy for them to be slightly worn, but I don't want like hands miss hands and legs missing and heads chewed on and I'm not fussed too about weapons missing or you know a little bit of paint scratching's fine, but I just want to get a complete set and then maybe eventually after that I'll start replacing some of the rougher ones with better ones and I'll just work work that collection from there and eventually just improve until I've got a really good one. It's just not something I, I can see myself taking a long time and having some fun doing that. So it's not something I'm actively actively doing all the time. So I've got like RTD2 with pretty rough stickers and you know prune faces missing his eye patch it's all scratched off and this Luke, Jedi Luke's looking pretty rough. He's got half of his face paint missing and stuff that I will replace over time. But uh, it's a collection I'm, I'm pretty happy with at the, mo at the moment. So let's move down onto the floor here. Let's look at my Darth Vader, Darth Vader shelf here. One of my favourite pieces in my collection, that Samurai Vader. So good. So I just got lots of little Vader tidbits on this shelf. Angry Birds. Move down to my sort of Legends Expanded Universe shelf. A bunch of Sith, Old Republic era. Sort of moves into pre prequels and Onto the Clone Wars. And we move into the sort of original trilogy timeline sort of sort of characters. Force Unleashed. Okay, here to the Empire. Legacy. Bounty Hunter Chewbacca. My Clone Wars collection. It's a good guy shelf. This is a nearing completion. There's still lots of clones I need. But um, I'll get them eventually. And villains. My custom Mandalorian Darth Maul when he took over Mandalore. to sort of see down the back there but you know, a few caps down down below that micro machines and die cast vehicles I've got all my uh, Hot Wheels character cars in a box at the moment eventually I will display them I'm uh, hoping to get another one of these smaller smaller bookshelves to go to the left here not the, uh, I can't remember his name <laughs> off the top of my head. Hapabore. Just a couple of random shelves here. And we've got my Marvel Legends MCU figures displayed. Um, yeah, just had these in a box for way too long and you know, I, I still collect these. Majority, I, I try and get as many of them as I can. I do sort of, I skip some of them, some of them I haven't been able to find. Um, still need to get like the Falcon. Um, I'm blanking on a couple more I think. But um, the new Ant-Man and Wasp are great. Thanos. The new Black Widow and Thor figures are great. The new Black Panther figures. A great with Killmonger there at the back. They're awesome figures. Um, I haven't got some of the Thor Ragnarok figures. I still would like to get a couple of them, such as Thor, Loki, uh, Hela would be a nice one to get. 
um, completing the vulture at the back I'd like to do but uh, this is all sort of secondary when when things are quiet on Star Wars and I sort of find myself with a um, sort of in between with my allowance and I've got some catching up to do and there's sort of a gap between Star Wars waves or something like that I tend to just try and grab a couple of Legends figures here and there to build this collection up because it's something I'm passionate about as well not not as much as Star Wars obviously but I'm very very passionate about the Marvel Cinematic Universe I love this I love this universe that they've uh, put together a lot a giant man at the back I'm not sure if he's sort of hidden in there but yeah definitely a couple I'd like to get more of and uh, Cull Obsidian there being sort of in construction need two more parts for him but yeah, underneath this I've got my BMF, my big ATAT, Snowspeeder, and Clone Trooper Jesse that my uh, buddy Mark, Arc Trooper Mark, um, got for me a few years ago. And without going into depth with too much else, that's pretty much it. I know this is going to be a long video, but so thank you for sticking around. I've got vehicles hanging on the roof. Yeah, thank you so much for sticking around and, and watching. I know a lot of people have been asking for this for a long time. And uh, yeah, it's been a pleasure to be able to, to be able to finally get this video out. So um, yeah, I'd absolutely like to take some requests for anyone who wants to see things in closer up. And I'll, I'll do my best to do some videos and, you know, do some closer up stuff of some of these items if anyone's interested. So until my next video guys, thank you very much for watching and may the force be with you.